I show you how to make an old-fashioned peanut butter cake. Up next on the award-winning Trailer Park Cooking Show. She's bringing the trailer park lifestyle to the world. Come inside, don't be shy. Cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Jolene Sugar Baker is one budget minded girl. Lots of cheap fashion is the passion at the park. The passion at the park. The passion at the park. Dropping in on neighbors is all part of Jolene's world. Jolene Sugar Baker, she's the trailer park queen. Hey there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, summer is right around the corner, and I sure do like baked goods around summer because I like to sit out in a chaise lounge out on the yard with a big piece of cake and some sweet tea. I see all the crazy cake mixes that they have at the store, and you know, there's nothing like an old-fashioned peanut butter cake. Yes, that's right. There's really not a mix for that, but you can make it right in your own home or trailer. And I'm going to show you how to make it up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my old-fashioned peanut butter cake is really simple. And I've got a saucepan up here on the stove top and a half cup of creamy peanut butter right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a cup of water in there, just like that. I've got a half cup of butter. We're just going to dunk that right on there into the saucepan. And this is a half cup of vegetable oil. We're going to put this on about medium heat until it is a smooth consistency. And you don't want it to burn because burned peanut butter is not a great thing. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, there we go. We've got our peanut butter mixture all nice and smooth. And we're going to set this aside and work on the flour mixture for the cake base. I'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to mix our dry ingredients together for our peanut butter cake. And I've got two cups of regular sugar. And I'm using a stand mixer today. And you could probably mix this by hand. So we've got two cups of sugar. And this is two cups of all-purpose flour. And that goes right on in there. Right on into the bowl, just like that. And this is one teaspoon of baking soda, right on in there. And we're going to turn this on really slowly to mix it up just a little bit. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Now I'm going to add a half cup of milk right on into the bowl, just like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla, and I use about a teaspoon to a tablespoon worth, just like that. I like the taste of vanilla, and I'm going to use two eggs right on in there. Go ahead and break two, and I, I like to use the cage-free eggs because I think chickens should be happy running around. And we're going to mix this to, uh, together just a little bit without getting the eggshells in there. There we go and mix it around just a bit, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once you got that mixed up, you're gonna pour in the cooled peanut butter mixture, just like that, right on into the bowl. And we're gonna mix this together until it's well mixed, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we have our peanut butter cake batter, and I've got a 13 by 9 baking pan that I've sprayed down and floured. And I preheated the oven to 375 degrees. And this is going to bake for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean. And wow, this smells very peanutty. I guess that's a word. I don't know. But um, let's get all this nice batter out. We're going to be making a frosting too, so I'll check back with you in just a moment. But set your timer. Okay, now to make the peanut butter frosting for our old-fashioned peanut butter cake. 
and I've got a half cup of creamy peanut butter right here in a saucepan again and I've got a half cup of butter which is pretty much a stick of butter right there into the pan and this is a third cup of regular milk we're gonna melt this down until it's smooth and I'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, now that the peanut butter mixture has cooled off a little bit, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract right on in there, and I've got four cups of powdered sugar. Now you're going to keep adding this until it becomes a nice spreading uh, consistency like frosting. So just go ahead and add a little bit at a time until it's well mixed until you get like frosting. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Look at that, look at that peanut butter icing that we just made up on the stove top. You just can't buy that stuff in a can and look how nice and creamy it is. We're going to frost our cake with this. This just looks so great, I can't wait to try it. I'll check back with you in just a moment. There you have it, my old-fashioned peanut butter cake. And look at that nice frosting that we made in a quick and jiffy moment right up there on the stovetop. This is a great frosting that you didn't get out of a can, and you can make it for other things, too. And this has a nice, look at that peanut butter color. I would guess that, like a tan or a, um, just a golden color, too. And this is an unusual cake to make. Um, Especially if the person's allergic to peanuts, you should check that out beforehand because that could be just not a fun party. Um, but it's an unusual cake because you don't often see a peanut butter cake. I'm tired of talking about it, so I'm just going to dive right on into it and see how this tastes. And look at that frosting, it's so moist. Mmm. That is really good really sweet too it's a special treat and wouldn't be a special treat for someone that's diabetic this is for just a special treat every now and then but mm, it would be so good with maybe some ice cream or a cold glass of milk and mmm I hope you get a chance to make my old-fashioned peanut butter cake and if you do send me pictures at Jolene Sugarbaker at gmail.com don't forget to follow me on Twitter, on Jolene's trailer there. Add me all over the place. I'm on Instagram, you know, Google+. I'm all over the place. So find me and hit that big old subscribe button because there's more cooking shows coming right around the corner because it's summer and I'm excited. I'm going to cook up a storm here inside the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. I love y'all and I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Hey there, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. Don't leave yet. Click right here and you can watch one of my classic episodes. Click right here and you can subscribe so you don't miss any of the Trailer Park cooking shows. I love ya and I'll see you back real soon.